He is God of the second chance. Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Look, as the clay is in that potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. This is a beautiful picture that God always gives us a second chance. Or we could say a third chance, a fourth chance, another chance. He is the God of another chance. So Jeremiah is sent down to the potter's house here. And at that very instant, God has set something up uh, to give Jeremiah a message. The potter has been working at his wheel with a lump of clay and, and some of things are not coming out right. So what does he do? He starts all over again with the same lump of clay. And at this time, he makes it into a beautiful vessel. And God tells Jeremiah, Jeremiah, can I not do with my people in the same manner, the way the potter reworked that lump of clay into something that's beautiful? And it's a powerful message for you and me. God is the potter, we are the clay. And there are times when things get messed up, meaning we mess things up, we may do things wrong, Whatever happens, but God is a God of another chance, meaning He's the God who can remold us, remake us into something beautiful and something powerful. Now, I don't know if there is someone watching or listening who in their life find themselves in such a situation. And it is probably right to say that all of us from time to time may come into that place where we say, Oh God, I messed up. I need a rework done. Maybe in a certain area of my life or maybe in the entirety of my life. I need you to remold me. I need you to make me into the right kind of vessel once again. But the wonderful thing is this, that God is the God who does this for His people. He is the potter, we are the clay. As we submit, as we yield to His working in our lives, He will be, He is more than willing to remold us and make us into something beautiful. So, don't give up. Don't think it's the end of everything in your life. Get back on the potter's wheel. Become that lump of clay in the hand of the potter. Get back there and say, God, you are the potter, I am the clay. God, remold me, make me into something that you want me to be. Do it, O oh God, and I surrender, I yield to you. You invite His working in your life by His Word and by His Spirit and, and through the godly influence, through godly people around you. And God will shape you and God will shape me into those vessels of honor that He desires us to be. Remember, God is a God of another chance, the second chance. And for those of us who need it, He's always a God of God of, the, of another chance. He gives us many chances to get back on that wheel, to be molded and made into what He wants us to be. So let's not give up. We can come back strong. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for this powerful picture that You are the potter and we are the clay. And that You can always rework us. You can always remold us. You can do a new thing in our lives. And Lord, we surrender. We invite your working in areas of our lives where we need to be remolded, remade, and shaped into what you want us to be. Do this work in us by your spirit, by your word, and through your people. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.